Robert. Okay, all right, you're ready. All right. So you guys are ready. Sadiq, you all good with this one? Feel good on that one? Confident on this one? No? Kevin? No? Not confident on this one? Okay, so let's just go through and work this out. First thing we're going to want to do is break it up by applying the product rule of your radicals. So by applying that rule, I'm going to have the fourth root of 16 times the fourth root of a to the 24th times the fourth root of b to the 13th. Does everybody understand at least the first step that I did there? Does anybody have any questions on that first one? That's just applying that first rule that I showed you guys. All I did was I took each term that I'm multiplying through and I just broke it up as the fourth root of each one of those terms. Yes? Uh, what's that number right there? That's my native country, we call it quattro. It's a four. What's your native country? Uh, yeah. It's a four. OK. So now the next step that we're going to do is now see if we can simplify each one of these by taking to the fourth root. So again, what we want to do is see if we can raise each number to that fourth power. Well, fourth root of 16, we could raise that as 2 to the fourth power. Very good. What about a to the 24th? Right. So we could say a to the sixth to the fourth power. Right? Because remember, 6 times 4 is going to give us 24. Right? But I don't want to write it as a to the 4th to the 6th power, because the powers and then my roots would not cancel out. Then, what about b to the 13th? Can can ah, we fraction? can't, can we? We're not going to be working with our fractions. So what are we going to do then if we have a number that's not divisible by our root? What we can do is, well, we know that 4 doesn't go into 13, but 4 goes into 12, right? So let's see if we can break this up again. What if I did this? Is that still b to the 13th? Yes. Right? Yes? Is that addition or multiplication? I'm multiplying. But remember, when you multiply your variables, you add the exponent. So is this still equal to that? It is. Cool. Now, can, since I have a multiplication, I'm sorry, since I have a product, can I break that up by using the product rule of exponents again, or product rule of radicals? Yeah. So here, inverse operations leaves us with a 2, a to the 6th. And now we can just rewrite this as fourth root of b to the 12th times the fourth root of b. Right, well, I'm not done yet. So yes, we got to simplify this, right? So therefore, we say 2, a to the 6th, fourth root of, and then we can rewrite this as to the fourth power. So we could write b to the 6th to the fourth times the fourth root of b. b to the third. b to the third. Uh, hold on. Yes, to the third. Thank you. I don't know why I was thinking 6. I'm sorry? So therefore, now we can simplify those. And we say 2, a to the 6, b cubed, and the fourth root of b. Now, the one thing I want you guys to remember and to look at this, though, is a lot of you guys remember whenever we took the square root, whenever we had an even root, but then we had an odd power, right? Do you remember, what did we always have to include? The absolute value, right? Now, usually we include the absolute value, and that's still going to be the case. However, in this example, the only reason why we got an odd value, though, is because we applied the product rule. So therefore, we're not going to have to be able to apply the product rule, because we know that this value is always going to have to be positive. Bless you. So since the only reason why we got this odd is because we had to break this up by using the product rule, we're not going to have to apply the absolute value symbol, because this will have to be a positive. Because what if b, what if b was negative? Well, then you, then you would have had a negative answer, right? So there's no way that your answer could have been negative. All right? So therefore, that's why, it, that's why we don't need to include the absolute value here, because we applied the product rule to break it up. All right? And that's what uh, Ryan was taking me a second to go back through and make sure I could explain that.